Hello Taurus, how are you? It is me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. Some of you are new here. If you are, thank you for coming in. I very much appreciate you joining this honeycomb over here. We're going to do your bonus read this week. So for those of you that are new, whoever has um, the best attendance for the weekly videos, I give them a little extra reading right before I start the next round of weeklies. So Taurus, this go around, it was you. You stole the throne from Virgo. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. So we're going to use the Everyday Witches Tarot to do your read. I had two cards that flew out. They really seem like they want to be on the board, so I'm going to keep them out, and then we're going to pull out the rest as we go along. But as always, let's start with prayer. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Taurans in today. I ask that you bless these messages and you cover these cards. I ask that you allow me to be clear and speak with wisdom and encouragement. I ask that we bring forward messages and guidance from Taurus's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you and we thank you in all of your ways. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, Taurus. So, the first two cards that you have out is you, the Queen of Cups. This came out in the Daily Energy on Patreon. There are people moving things out. So this came out in the Daily Energy on Patreon. And then we have it followed out by the Fool card. So, Taurus, there really is an energy going on for you right now that you really need to kind of let it all hang loose. Like, let it out. Like, take that leap of faith. You feel free enough to kind of give yourself... I'm, I'm getting to give, give yourself away. Give yourself away. It almost feels like a... Like, a, like when, when you get married and, and you ask someone to give you away, but like giving yourself away. It's more of that energy of um, allowing yourself to be open, allowing yourself to nurture something, allowing yourself to um, like experience things, experience love, to, 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 to put your heart before your fears, your heart before your doubts, your, your positivity ahead of your projections of negativity, right? Because like I'm seeing this little boat down here too. It's almost like... You don't want to miss the boat, Taurus. It's like if you if you don't kind of like shake it off, shake it off like a little bit like Taylor Swift, you know, like shake it out, shake it out. I'm hearing um, I'm I'm hearing that song, uh, "Shake It Off" by Florence, Florence and the Machine. Shake it off, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Whoa, I'm hearing that, and it's hard to dance. But that's what's that line? It goes, and it's hard to dance with the devil on your back. So shake them off. Ooh, whoa like that it's kind of like that like you don't want to miss the boat like there could be like some kind of see it's like coming in there's like some kind of opportunity coming in for you Taurus right and there are all these like there's these hawks right which is almost like you've been getting these feelings um you've been getting um signs symbols birds feathers angel numbers like whatever it may be kind of indicating even maybe a little bit of um like what you're perceiving as anxiety that's really excitement from your higher self coming in that like there's an opportunity like right about to make its way to you um and if you keep yourself i'm gonna see like the eight of swords card which came out in the daily energy on Patreon too. If you keep yourself stuck, like if you keep yourself so afraid that like your past really does predict your future, it's like you're gonna miss the boat and you don't want to. And there are all these symbols and synchronicities that are signs that are coming in for you. But then on this uh, this Queen of Cups card, if you notice, all the little kitties, all the little kitties are sitting on this chair over here, which almost like indicates to me that it's like putting your like intuition a little bit on the back burner putting your intuition a little bit on the back burner, almost like not trusting it, not trusting your own intuition when it's telling you that something good is coming in. See, and there's all these little fish, which talks about like flow and abundance and like money and prosperity and success and like all of these things. And fish also represent Pisces and Pisces is the culmination of all of the other zodiac signs, which to me indicates that you have really kind of gone through a lot of your soul lessons, right? We're always learning, we're always growing, but you've gone through a lot of your soul lessons, Taurus. Um, you, you, you've done a lot of your homework, right? And, and there's a completion. I'm seeing the world card in my head now. Yeah, but there's been a completion of an old phase in your life and now you're moving into a new phase of your life and you don't want to take that old energy, that old energetic baggage into the new, which is why you sort of need to like shake it off. You can't dance with the devil on your back and like take that leap of faith because you really, like, seems like you really are not going to want to miss this boat. You didn't see it coming. You're not going to see it coming. I know we're in a new location today, Taurus. Unless you're new here and then you don't know what location we're normally in. But this is not our normal location. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands. This came out. Wow. This came out in the um, 
and the Patreon today too. But and, and I use a completely different deck also. Um, and it came out in reverse too. So it's like not being defensive. Like easy does it, Taurus. It's like this is a, like my uh, not everybody's out to get you. Like don't assume that everybody's out to get you. Just don't assume that just because somebody wants to make amends with you or maybe somebody's coming back around or or you maybe meet someone and almost like getting the impression that they like remind you of someone else who maybe did you dirty in the past. Like don't assume that everyone's going to get get you. Don't assume that just because relationships or or job opportunities or or you know it's like you get up try and try again if at first you don't succeed try try again that's kind of the energy that i'm i'm pulling in it'll be don't be defensive it's almost like i'm hearing like false start like in the past like maybe you tried things maybe you you tried to open your heart up maybe you tried to go for that job maybe you tried to turn that hobby into a business and and it didn't work at that point but maybe there were so lessons there was growing there were things in there for you but now maybe is the time to like try again, take a crack at it, open your heart back up, nurture something with this Queen of Cups, nurture a new project, nurture an old hobby, nurture a relationship, nurture aspects of yourself as well, getting back into like your self care, your self love. This seems like it wants to come out. Ten of Wands. Okay, let's get this one. Oh. Okay, okay. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this? Let's take this card. Let's take this card. Okay, so 10 of wands, Taurus. Now, the good thing is that this is a 10, which again, like we just said, it's completion. It's a completion of carrying around burdens, struggles, insecurities, right? Anxiety, paranoia, fear, defensiveness, all this stuff when, when we're coming up to the new moon. A new moon is when you set intentions for something, right? Um, uh, and the full moon is kind of when you purge. And I always use this analogy that a, a new moon is sort of when you look at a mountain, you look at a journey and you're like, I'm going to climb that. And a full moon is when you get like a, like halfway up the mountain and you're like, I'm going to need to take some stuff out of my bag. Cause it's, you know, it's your baggage. I'm going to need, I'm going to need to lighten my load a little bit in order to complete this journey. And here you are, it's like starting to walk up the mountain. And again, it's saying like, you can't be defensive. Like you have to let go of the old baggage of the old cycle because you're in the new now. Maybe it doesn't feel like it because all you know for so long has been the old, but you really are in the new now. You need to let it go because with the King of Swords coming out next, it's saying that the longer that you hold on to this, right? You only need one broomstick. You only need one to clear out your clutter and to fly. That's all you need, right? To carry around the rest of them. It's unnecessary baggage. It's unnecessary energy that you're carrying around. And in that, it's turning you into the King of Swords in reverse, which is a little cold, a little callous. It's a little closed off as well. And, and when we're closed off, then we're not open to receive our blessings from God. And then that card that just flew out right here, it's the high priestess and it's on its side. And again, it's like I was saying over here with kind of putting your intuition on the back burner because it's almost like you can't trust it, right? Um, when cards for me as a reader personally, when they come out on their side, that indicates for me a free will choice. It's like you're almost choosing to ignore your intuition, right? Because perhaps what your intuition is telling you is to go for something, um, like I said, a person, an opportunity, a move, like whatever it may be for you. And what your intuition is telling you is is putting it in. Um, I'm hearing the word competition, but it's putting it you. It's putting it in competition or conflict with your pride, your ego, and what comes out of your pride and ego, fear, right? Because your ego, it's it's it lives inside of your inside of your body as a form of like a self defense. It's a form to protect you, right? It's like an alarm system. It's like, oh no, don't do that, Taurus. Like, we're going to get hurt. Oh no, Taurus, remember the last time we did that? Like, we got burned, we got burned, we got burned. However, when your intuition is like, yeah, but try again. And God's like, try again. Like, there's um a song by Corey Asbury. It's called Dear God. Um, and the song is basically about God trying to like convince you to like, try again, Queen of Cups. Like, open up your heart again. Like, be vulnerable. Like, be open to new experiences and new adventures, right? Like, People can change. You can change. You can have more positivity ahead of you than you had in your past. Like you've learned now, you've grown. Like allow your situations to also grow and evolve and become more beautiful. Um, let God kind of enrich you with with age and experience. Right? These, these trials and the, these challenges that we have to overcome they they grow us. They strengthen us. They they build our resilience. They build our our uh, sense of. Um, forgiveness and compassion and patience temperance energy right and so again with this coming out on its side it's saying like you you have to make the choice to like listen to your intuition and know 
Um, Because your ego will oftentimes sound like your intuition. It sounds like it's got the same little voice, but it's not. And you have to be able to know the difference in that too. If it starts making you like anxious or uh, uh, then that's your ego talking. That's your fear. That's your pride talking. What if I get hurt again? What if this blows up in my face? What if I embarrass myself? What if I look like a fool? Hmm, Yeah. What if I look like a fool? Yeah. But what if you fly? What if you don't look like a fool? What if instead you take on this fool energy, right? Not foolish, but childlike faith right? Where everyone else thinks that you, maybe you've gone, you've gone off the wall. You've gone a little crazy, but you know that it's not a risk. You're taking a leap of faith. So that way you can fly. It's like Peter Pan, right? It's like, you have to believe it so you can receive it. You have to believe it. So that way you can fly when you're sitting in doubt, your wings can't sprout up and you can't get off the ground. Right. But when, like I said, this indicates a free will choice. But for me, if I turn the card clockwise, clockwise clockways yeah clockwise Lauren that's how words work um when you do that I'm not used to filming in such an open space so it's and there's people here so I digress uh, but when I turn it clockwise that indicates to me a little bit of like where the decision may be going and when I turn it clockwise it goes upright which gives me the sense that like you are going to overcome any fears like any doubts like you are going to connect with your intuition and a little bit of just, that just like pure bravery energy as well Taurus where ah uh, haha I love that um that pure bravery energy where you're like you know what if if it doesn't work out if I fall on my face if whatever well then you know what God had a purpose in that and I learned from it and I'm going to be stronger and I'm going to have life lessons and it's going to be good growth for my soul it's going to help me develop myself in a positive manner right because then look you have the seven of pentacles out next and this is also a very faithful energy the seven of pentacles talks about planting seeds but then having faith that they will grow in their just in due time just in due time and um i was originally gonna use a different deck for this spread for you and the justice card kept coming out in reverse and i was like well what's that about and i kept hearing overdue like long overdue justice and what is justice justice is balancing energy it's karmic balancing karma's good karma's bad karma's just temperance with an attitude but it's all about balancing things right and it's also a little bit about like um maybe some of that nervous energy maybe you need to like do something like do something with your hands like keep busy like sometimes like if you like fold laundry or wash dishes it can help like clear your head or like maybe you need to color or maybe like there's there's something in that about dispersing some of the um excess energy you have that's like making you a little anxious by like doing something physical with your hands maybe a little bit of gardening you know it falls here winter's here maybe getting like some house plants doing something like something like that something ah ha, ha. beautiful beautiful look at this ten of swords in reverse again another completion energy this is you and swords being air logic energy so this is putting down stress anxiety paranoia all of like those little demons in your head putting those down and instead choosing faith over fear and in that look you get justice you get justice the proper balancing of that that's absolutely gorgeous that's absolutely gorgeous and look what you have underneath that the eight of cups and what is the eight of cups the eight of cups is leaving leaving the eight behind the eight first of all always leads to the ten when it comes to the tarot the eight always leads to the ten which would be the ten of cups which is ultimate emotional fulfillment that could be in your relationships that could be in your environment that could be in your work it could be all of the above but it's leaving the eight the excess right to go and find the two the two of cups which is divinely guided love and again that could be a person that could be family that could be um like soul tribe kingdom friendships kingdom alignments right that could be projects that speak to your soul at the same time but that's what you're going to go do and in that book you get the queen of wands. This, the queen of wands represents confidence. She is strong. She is sexy. She is confident. She is sweet. She's warm with that wands energy. She is nurturing. It's a beautiful energy. Look, and in that you get the three of swords in reverse, which is getting over heartbreaks and disappointment and all of that kind of stuff. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So Taurus, this was your little mini bonus spread. I hope that you liked it. I hope that it was useful. Look at the top of the deck, y'all. The sun card. I don't got to tell you because that's it. That's it. It's the happiest card in the deck. This, yeah, King of Wands. Oh, King. King of Wands. This is what we call perfect pair, y'all. Just saying. Just saying. This is happy. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is joy. This is 
peace this is prosperity this is everything and i always say the sun card is also like very much like christ energy because it's warm and it's healing and it's restoring and it's 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 the necessary component in order to in which to make you grow as well so now that's your spread source they really wanted me to pull that extra card i love that so thank you guys so much for being here thank you guys for showing out for the weekly last week so much i love appreciate you very much appreciate you to all the new bees welcome welcome to this honeycomb very grateful to have you here um if you're interested in extra added content like daily weekly and monthly readings i do those on the patreon that will be linked down below um in the description box i will also have my email for personal readings i do personals um and my social media links my instagram and my twitter and all of the decks that i use in case you want to get these decks for yourself this is the everyday witches tarot so thank you so much for being here i very much appreciate you um and until i see you next time stay prayed up stay blessed give it a shot i'll see you later